Okay, welcome back to Simple TV and thank you for joining the average golfer in a video that's being posted for two reasons. A quick update and also to tell you what's going on uh, in the weeks ahead. Also why I haven't posted quite so much over the last couple of weeks and I thought I just needed to have a quick chat and explain that at least. I've just run up the stairs from out of breath. Anyway, let's get stuck in straight away to the things that I need to bring you up to speed with. So first of all, start at the very beginning, I mentioned the chance to win some TP5 limited edition, athlete edition golf balls, which is these. Get them in focus. So basically, uh, Dustin Johnson, Jason Day, Rory McIlroy, John Rahm, and Justin Rose, I've got their own golf ball that's been brought out by TaylorMade, these athlete edition. It's basically got their initials or name on and the number of golf ball that they play. TaylorMade have kindly sent me, um, I think it's about five, six dozen of these, which is very generous to TaylorMade. And I wanna do some kind of giveaway. And the first giveaway is gonna be part of this video. Let me explain. What I want you to do is decide, I've got some of these to give away and potentially a few other bits as well. It could be a little bit bigger than that. Fingers crossed. Now I'm approaching, there's a couple of things going on. I'm very near the milestone of 10,000 subscribers, which I'm really excited about. We've also got the Ryder Cup coming up very shortly, which I'm also very excited about. And I've got these tailor-made TP5 and TP5Xs to give away and possibly some other bigger things as well. So. The first part of this competition to win yourself a dozen of these is I'm looking for someone to come up with the idea of how I create a competition to win the bigger prize. The few dozen of these along with, I think it's gonna be a golf club of some sort. So it may even be a top end driver, let's see. Um, and the ideas, like I said, are gonna be focused around Amy achieving 10,000 subs, maybe link it in with the um, Ryder Cup, maybe link it into the players that are involved in these uh, golf balls in terms of the giveaway. So I'm looking for ideas. Basically, comment down below, the best ideas, so in other words, the one that I run with, will receive a dozen of these. That's the first competition done. So that's you will receive a dozen of these golf balls in the post for the best idea. Now, if I don't run with any of the ideas, no winner, it's gonna carry over. So get your thinking caps on, help me out with this one. I need a good idea for a good, innovative competition that I can run that gets everybody involved, hopefully boost my subscribers at the same time, and we get a giveaway as well. So that winner will be announced. I'm gonna to have to do it, literally, get your comments in. Um, I'm gonna be busy for the next week or 10 days, but then I will start to run the competition leading up to the Ryder Cup. And I think it's got to be, I mean, I think that's the key. I think it's got to be Ryder Cup based as well. So there you go. Anyway, moving on from that one. That's the first one. Let me have a glance down at what I'm doing next. Right, Taggers, end of wall, end of season. The Taggers wall to my right. I said to everybody who gets involved, that everybody who has made a positive move, so in other words, appears in white tipex across the board, will go into a hat once again to win some prize. And just an update on that. I'm gonna run that until the end of September. So at the end of September, anybody who's in white will go into the hat and we will draw out a winner. And again, prize to be announced soon. But that's the update on the Taggers target wall. I've not been talking on this one-to-one -one basis as often I would have liked to over the last, probably two months really. And that's been, that's a problem that I have in terms of workload. Um, but yeah, the, the wall looks fantastic. I'll do a quick pan over it. Uh, for you to have a look at as well. But anyone who's in that white at the moment is in with a chance, I'm still honoring that competition and that will come out at the end of September. Right, glance down again. What's going on? Badges, sex thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, badge of honor for any average golfer out there. You need to be wearing one of these. Can I get that in focus? Come on, get off my head and get on that. Come on, come on. It's not happening, is it? It's not happening. I can't get it in focus. We're in focus. Bit dark. Let's get a bit of light on that. There you go. So you get the gist of it. They're a pin badge. 
and uh, they're pinned to caps, belts, bags. And really, it was a case of we've done some bits of merchandise in terms of t-shirts and caps and all things like that. Like I said, with the average golfer logo, which is a permanent fixture. But I thought for a little bit of added flexibility, a little bit more discreet these are as well. Like I said, can be worn onto your uh, golf caps and any of your existing clothing. I've decided to get them made. Now, we've only got a small amount at the moment. They're available on the website. That's theaveragegolfer.com or is it .co.uk, I'll flash it up on the bottom now, I can't even remember. Um, they're relatively inexpensive, I think. It's just a great way of A, supporting the channel, and B, obviously wearing that average golfer logo and badge, which I'd love to obviously grow as far as I possibly can. Um, so I like them, they're really good. They're a nickel-plated badge, and they look superb. They've certainly been on quite a bit of my gear that I've done in recent videos as well, and uh, will be continue to be worn. So. Whether you like them or not, I don't know, pop over, have a look at theaveragegolfer.com or .co.uk, whichever one I've decided it is, and uh, check those out for me. Um, I've mentioned the 10K subs. Um, next one is the, let's have a look at the next one. Well, I'll tell you the next one, the, the upcoming videos. Now, the biggest thing in terms of videos releases, in terms of products, is gonna be the release of the new Titleist range. So the Titleist TS2 and 3, um, I don't know the release date, but I do know the embargo date for the videos, and that is the 6th of September. So on the 6th of September, I will release, I've sort of, I've filmed half of my video at the moment. Um, when I say half, I've done the dry ball data. I'm gonna take out the course on Thursday of this week uh, and test further, and my video will be complete. And on the 6th of September, you will get to watch that. My opinion, along with lots of other golf YouTubers, no doubt, that have tried and tested these clubs over the last few weeks. Um, can't say nothing as yet, um, but yeah, I've done my very best to put a great video together, or as best as I can anyway, on the Titleist TS2 and TS3. So that'll be an interesting one, 6th of September. I'll let you know, obviously, when that comes. And it's all about letting you know, a good thing to do, if I can ask. Um, obviously, if um, you're a subscriber, this applies to, can you turn on the notifications bell? I just keep getting lots of messages about people that don't get notified when a video is released. The only way you'll get that is if you turn on those little notifications icon on YouTube, you have to hit that bell, and then that way, every time I release a video, you'll get a little note to say that uh, something has been posted. So if you could please push that on. Uh, I'll mention at this point, if you are watching this video and uh, don't subscribe already, then please do so. And if you're gonna win any of these prizes that we've mentioned, then you need to be a subscriber. I am very briefly describe myself as the average golfer, so I'm a handicap golfer. I test everything from the perspective of a handicap golfer in terms of the products that I test and in terms of course visits that I make, very much the perspective of the average golfer. That's the idea of the channel and what I try to do, which leads me on to the next bit I just mentioned travel. And I'm going to be doing a fair bit of it over the next six weeks. Um, and really, I've been really fortunate to um, hook up with a couple of different um, agencies, companies, whatever you want to call it, that have offered me uh, a couple of gigs, which basically mean that in a week today, which is, this is a Monday, by the way, Monday there's something like 26 or something, I have no idea. Uh, I will be, next Monday, I am going to Tenerife um, for five days, playing some really great golf courses, um, visiting some nice hotels and it's all part of a video series that I'm going to look to do moving through the winter which is all about golf travels it's about the what to expect if you are to visit these type of golfing resorts and holidays from a first person's perspective so I'm going to try and put those videos as best as I can not necessarily all about just watching me play golf I'll be doing the man versus golf hole challenges but like I said I just want to show you more about Yes, the golf course, but then if you're considering going there in and around and outside the golf course, maybe just a little bit more about around and about as well. So maybe it won't all be necessarily all golf related, but it'll be related to the golf resorts that I visit and the regions that I visit. So that is in um, that is next Monday, which is the 3rd of September for five days. And then um, four weeks later, I will be going out to Costa Brava 
and that again is another four day trip very very similar again um, and then after that I'm off to um, where's next Ireland so another trip for Ireland is then uh, planned so it's and, and in amongst all that end of September I'm going to get together with PXG again because I did the PXG video there's a lot of interest in that um, so I'm going to be looking at their um, driving irons and the wedges I think the next thing we're going to have a quick look at so that'll be an interesting video so there's absolutely lots planned I'm just a little bit disappointed that like I said over the last two three weeks I've been really really struggling to put content out due to other work because yeah sorry the last thing that's the reason that I've been waylaid is because I don't speak about it a lot and I probably need to speak about it a bit more often is that my I'm very much involved in a website called T Upload. Now I know you know that name because that's the channel name but I often everything I refer to is about the average golfer but I work for a website called T Upload. Um, and very much involved in the day-to-day -day running of that website and the development of that website and that's where a lot of time and effort goes into away from uh, producing YouTube videos. This is very much a sort of a something that I really enjoy doing but the real work element is obviously the Tealplo website. Um, so we're going through a big development at the moment and that's why I've been sort of waylaid working on that. Um, it's just got a massive makeover, a slight change in direction. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Tealplo is a website that was built so golfers could leave reviews and opinions on the golf courses that they went and played. Uh, very much like a trip advisor but for golf courses uh, and it was mainly focused on UK and Ireland to start with we then built it out into Europe and I hope to add that further to involve our American audience on YouTube so we'll be continuing to grow the actual base of courses but there's something like 4,000 courses listed on there at the minute lots and lots of opinions from average golfers about what those courses are like and the idea was it was a guide to tell you where was good and bad to play if you're considering so that's Still very much a core of what it does, but then we built in a regular sort of golf news channel, we built in the video channel, and then we built in more and more of the travel aspect uh, and concentrated on very much um, popular tourist destinations. And that is the element that is going to grow considerably on the site going forward. Like I said, it's having a bit of a makeover, a new look, and it ties into, like I said, what I will be doing in the next month or six weeks, which is a lot of traveling very lucky to be visiting a lot of decent destinations golf destinations that is and uh, we'll see how that develops and how that moves forward and progresses over uh, over the months ahead but it's something that I really love to do obviously it's a nice thing to do um, but it's very much um, yeah I think probably part of what I would like to do in terms of driving the website maybe a little bit more content in terms of what we do on YouTube and obviously that core focus on golf product as well review so yeah a bit of an update on on all the other things that uh, I do aside from and it's really like I said that that comes first and then obviously the YouTube videos come very much secondary because they're in my spare time uh, and a hobby I suppose is what you class this element as uh, anyway that's about it like I said an update is all I can give you at this stage it's nice to speak to you all again I have missed the conversations I've missed the comments even me responding to comments was a little bit poorer than it normally is so apologies for that um, but the reality is with any of these things like I said it's kind of like obviously paid work is the bit that you've got to do first and the hobby stuff as in YouTube which I don't get paid for then it has to come second at some po at some points um, although it's the bit that I love doing uh, I just wish this one paid and uh, then I wouldn't have to rely on anything else but I'm nowhere near that Anyway, but what I'm getting close to is 10,000 subs, so please share these videos. Do anything you can to help me to pass that 10,000. It's, like it's like a milestone somehow. It's just getting over that line. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like, yeah, hanging around forever. But I will get there one day, I'm sure. We're getting ever closer. We're nine, 6,000 odd at the moment, so uh, not far off. As ever, thanks for your support. Thank you for watching. And uh, thumbs up if you like the video. I'll speak to you all soon and don't forget get them ideas down below in the comments box what you think we should do in terms of this competition and the best idea the one I run with then that's the first prize a dozen of these are on their way to you right bye